We had a very intense debate uh, before the show. James Jones, you and I went at it a little bit in regards to Kyle Shanahan's decision to receive. Uh Now, why is that question so much? Because the new overtime rules for those at home, it simply state both teams have the opportunity to possess the ball. That's right. That's right. So if you win the toss, traditionally old school knowledge in overtime says you receive because if you go get seven, it's game over. Remember 2016 Super Bowl, Matt Ryan never got the ball in overtime, though he was the NFL MVP because Tom Brady came back from 28 to three, won the toss, went scored, game over. New overtime rules. So it was a little mind boggling when Kyle Shanahan chose to receive, yeah. knowing now that the Chiefs get another possession. Yeah. Do you have an issue with that huge decision? Yeah, no matter how you look at it, no matter how you slice it and dice it, it's the wrong decision by Kyle Shanahan. Right? Same, it's same like college football overtime. If you win, why are you going to take the ball? Get an extra down. You have a young quarterback on the other side. You got an MVP quarterback of the National Football League and of Super Bowls. And you're going to give him an extra down? Put your defense out there who's been playing really well all game long, right? You was arguing with me because the t- defense ain't gave up a touchdown or what? All game long. Go out there, get Patrick Mahomes three downs. You know what? What do you the, mean by that? I know what you mean by that, but yeah, break. Do you, you know think give him an extra yeah, down? Yeah, what give do you him mean an by extra that? down, right? So even play calling changes when you know you have three downs. How do they know they have four. three downs? Is what I'm asking you. How do they know they have yeah, three so downs? Yeah, you saying give so him an extra down. If break you that get down. the ball first, which the Niners did, got the ball first. Kyle Shanahan's calling plays off of three downs because if it gets to fourth down, you have to punt. Correct. You do not have an extra down. Now, as you take the ball. Patrick Mahomes like, cool, if they score a touchdown or even if they do score a field goal, if we want to, we have an extra down to go for it on fourth down, which means when it gets to third down, which the defense did hold them to third down, and Patrick Mahomes goes for it on fourth down and makes a huge play with his legs, that is the wrong call. Give Brock Purdy the extra down. Let your defense go out there. And now as you're calling plays, you're like, okay, it's second down, but it's really first down because I have an extra down to be able to call a play. I thought this was the wrong, wrong, wrong thing to do. And it bit him. It came back and bit him. Their defense played well. Patty went for it on fourth down, ended up going down the field, scoring a touchdown to win the game. Brock Purdy has it. The defense for the Kansas City Chiefs holds them on third down, and you have to kick the field goal. You're supposed to kick this football off to Patrick Mahomes, put the pressure on them, and put your quarterback in a position with four downs to be able to make plays. Absolutely wrong call. Yeah, also, your players didn't know the rules. Mm. How do you not not make sure everybody Uh is on the same page? I I understand that that fans don't know the rules. That's okay. There's been changes. It's a lot. It's a complicated game. There's a lot of moving parts. But you didn't have an overtime rule? Mm meeting? You didn't want to go over everything? You had two weeks. You didn't walk through the overtime situation? Like, luck favors the prepared. That's true. When you're in a high-stress moment, you've either been there before Mm -hmm. or you know what you're supposed to do because you're prepared. So, issue with it? I have have a bigger issue with it. Everybody didn't know what we was doing. This is, you you got, multiple players didn't know the the playoff rules. That's That's the coaching issue. That's not the player's issue. Players are supposed to be like, hey, uh, coach, uh, we want to go over in case we get to overtime? What? You're playing Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. You should be prepared for every scenario. So I, I don't, I mean, I, I, w- <laughs> I can't, I, don't, I can't even like find the words. I, that's crazy to me. Does that not sound crazy? Yeah, that's that why you would you got, not be prepared for overtime? That's why you got an issue with it. That you do not know the rules? You weren't ready. I don't have an issue with the decision. I did it do first. Do you have an issue with them not knowing? No. I, I, it's unfortunate, but my problem is like, I've been in enough, there are, if a player says he doesn't know a rule, I don't think one player speaks for 53. Two. I was thinking two players? It was Juszczyk and... Eric Armstead. And Armstead. Those are two pretty good players. They are. But the reason I can't is because, like, half the time, punt returners don't know it. If it hits somebody else, you can pick it up, and if you fumble it, it doesn't matter. Kick returners don't know that if you receive the ball and one foot's out of bounds, you get the ball at the 40. Half the time, several players on your team don't always know some rules. I also don't think that all of the Chiefs players knew the rules. Because after Miko Hardman scored the touchdown, he wasn't acting like the game was over. Now, he said he blacked out. Nah, I just don't think he knew that he won. I think it was like, wait, we just scored, but yeah, did but they get we, the ball to go score again? That, but they literally said that they don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but if I'm looking at do I have an issue with Kyle Shanahan's decision, I don't have an issue with his decision because of his explanation. His explanation afterwards, 2-5, was look, if we score and they score, it goes into sudden death. That's how it plays out. If they score, we score, it's Im- instantly sudden death. So if we receive, we get the ball on the third possession and we can go down and score and it's a wrap. So that yeah. even makes it more... Uh, 
He ain't no stupid coach. But that even makes the decision stupider, How? dumber. Because you already know if you go to sudden death, you are going to get an opportunity to get the ball right first, right? Yeah. So for me, get an extra down. This makes this makes no sense to know that, to say that, hey, I, I wanted the ball when we go to, go to sudden death. That makes no sense. Get an extra down. If they score, you have four downs to go all the way down the field every Correct. time. Correct, but, but here's, a, make no here, sense here to me is a dilemma. Here's a, to me the dilemma, then Shady, break in here. The dilemma is this, if they go score, Cool, you go down, you go score. Now they get the ball back. All Mahomes needs is three. Mahomes was really good at getting three yesterday. He was not really good at getting seven. The only time he got seven points yesterday before the last drive was when he had a 16-yard touchdown completion off of a punt. So you know Mahomes can get three, but he couldn't get seven. So the reason I don't think it was a dumb decision was because at the end of the day, if you can get two possessions to their one possession, that's probably better than getting four plays to their three plays because you get the ball back again if you score and they score. So that's why at first I thought it was dumb as heck. I was with you. But after Shanahan explained himself, I'm like, okay, you're assuming your defense is going to do what they did all game long. I can't be mad at Before that Before Shady thought. goes, can I ask you this question? How many touchdowns do you think Patty Mahomes would have scored the whole game if he had an extra down? in all them possessions. That's all I'm saying. You're giving him an extra chance. Who is that over there? That's Patty Mahomes. You're giving him an extra chance. That's all I'm saying. That's crazy to me. And I wonder, why, why, why are you saying, like, like, if they've been stopping him all, all game from scoring the touchdown, mm. and you, you, you think he's going to go <laughs> scoreless? Patrick Mahomes? In the fourth quarter? I, in think, overtime? I think that he would have done, I think Shanahan's thought process which I fully understand and fully agree with is, if we get three, my defense ain't gonna give them no more than three. But, but why, see, that's my, see, this is why I don't agree. Who are we talking about? Yeah. We sit up here every week, right, asking ourselves, who's the GOAT? Is he passing Peyton Manning and, and Aaron Rodgers already? Is he better than Joe Montana already? It's just, he's not even 30 yet. And we gonna ask if he's gonna score a touchdown mm -hmm. at the end of the game? Yeah. When it was a minute 50 left, they had the ball, they had one time or two times, I forget what it was. Yeah. You, how'd you feel? Because I know what you're saying about Kyle. How'd you feel, though? I was nervous. You don't think he know? But he didn't oh, let them oh, score. Oh. Brock Purdy had a really good drive yeah. to where he threw that touchdown to um, Rashad Jennings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? And that was on Snead, too. Yeah. What was the play before that? Remind me. Fourth down, pass to Kittle. Next play, touchdown. Extra down, got him a touchdown. Kyle Shanahan, I truly believe, to the flat. went for that. To Kittle to the flat. Because mm -hmm. he right. knew who was over there. Field goals ain't gonna win this game against Patrick Mahomes. He knew that. And that's why he went for it on fourth. Because I was sitting over there like, kick it, bro. Take the points. Your defense I was too. Well. Yeah. I was too. You know too. what I'm saying? Your defense playing well, kick the ball. Tied Be up. like, nah, I know who's over there. I know we are going to have to score touchdowns. It turned into a touchdown for him. Nice pass out to Kittle. Okay. Then a touchdown. Let's play it out like this then, right? Let's play it out like this. You kick it. Chiefs get the ball. They go down and score. Touchdown. Which they did anyway. They get a touchdown. Mm -hmm. You the Niners. You get the ball. Now, what do you have to do? Go down and score. Got to go down and score. Great. You go down and score. Now. Beautiful. You go down and score. Yeah. Now it's sudden death. Uh huh. Chiefs would get the ball back yep. again. Yep. Now, all they need is three, and it's a game. And go so, play defense. But my point is, ultimately, the dilemma that I just brought up uh. is a dilemma that would have occurred anyway, because you just said go play defense. That's what he was doing either way. So if you but kick it and let the Chiefs get it, you don't imagine they go, right no, 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 think about it. I'm breaking it down. If you get the Chiefs start, they go get seven, which they got anyway. Mm -hmm. Great. Now Niners have to get yeah. seven or you lose. Great. Niners go get seven. Now Chiefs get the ball back. But they not only, only need that, three. Acho, you know it's a different mindset, though, in different situations, right? If who was playing the best for the San Francisco 49ers all game? Defensively? De just a uh, offense or defense? Mc Fred or McCaffrey? I would say probably Fred. As a whole, offense or defense? Who was playing oh, the best? Defense. defense. So if this side of the ball is playing the best and we know we're going to get the ball back, why are we not putting the best people out there that's playing the best right now? Period. That have not gave up a consistent drive all game long for touchdowns. All they've been giving up is three and balling. Why are we not putting them out there first to get some really good field position for Brock Purdy to go down there? And you know what? If they stop them, do they need to score a touchdown? Mm -mm. All they need is three. Yeah. You know what I mean? So either way you f do it, you're going to get the football to go score. Your defense at that moment in the game was playing the best, period. But if they, but see, we're, we're, we have the exact same process, we just get to different conclusions. Mm -hmm. Because if your defense is playing that great, if they're playing that great, which they were, 
you would have thought they would stop him. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like, an extra you get, down, you, you though. You get an extra down, and if you get the stop, then you only need a field goal. Then you do actually don't have the pressure on Agreed. him to go and, and but, score a touchdown. All you need is a field goal. But the dilemma the is, do we really think that the Niners' defense was going – they couldn't stop Pat. So y'all really think that was going to stop Pat? So, like, either way, you have to stop him, which they didn't do. So you're, you're a big college guy. Why well, want to go to overtime in college? They always want to play defense first if they win the toss. Because then it's instantly sudden death. Like, in college, they were doing what Shanahan was doing on the third possession. College happens on the first possession. So Shanahan was just trying to anticipate. Ocho, each people get a possession. If you get the football first in college and you get stopped on third down, you have to kick it. If you get the ball second and you get stopped on third down, you have a choice to go for it. You get an extra down. Give your quarterback an extra down to go score. You are offensive guru. Now you have four downs to go score a touchdown every single time. That's crazy to me to not put your defense out there to go stop Patrick Mahomes, who has been playing the best all game long. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.